So Starcrossed, nobody has seen it yet. Nobody knows a ton about it. What can you guys tell us for you know the fans that are eager to see this mid-season series? Starcross is kind of like a, it's a it's a great mix of um, kind of a District Nine sci-fi feel mixed with uh, like a Romeo and Romeo and Juliet kind of epic love story. Mm -hmm. um, takes place in the future. Um, uh, let's see what else. What is it's like? It's kind of fun for for everyone, I, I suppose, because you kind of have um, some. You know, awesome sci-fi elements, and then you've got like cool love stories and triangles happening, and um, yeah, a little something for everyone. Are you guys ready to be the next big TV love triangle, the CW <laughs> love triangle? Are you prepared for this big transition? Nobody's ever really prepared <laughs> for that. Love it's is. True. You haven't been jotting down shipper names. Which I just found out what a shipper what was. A shipper we were doing was. <laughs> yes, we need to get. I we, have, yeah. we need to sit down, have like a group session, out. talk about it. So yes. we can at least like put that out there, so they're not giving us really weird ones. They're gonna yeah. do yeah. that if you don't prepare. So yeah. you may oh, want to yeah. hit Twitter with your picks before they decide what you're gonna be called. Do people yeah. ship yeah. like three names together? Does that ever happen? No, or that, that's that just, uh, like, <laughs> that's a different different yeah. type of relationship that is, there. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's not, not a hint CW. for the show, though. She's not going to date us both simultaneously. <laughs> no, we'd never do that. Yeah. Girls don't do that. Girls don't Play do two that. boys against what is each it? other. What is it? It's Grayson, yeah? Grayson yeah. and Grayson, Grayson and Emery. Emery. Yeah. Grimmery? Grimmery. Grimmery. This, like is, a, this is my like, point, no. though. We just got to we got to sort this now. You are playing the human again, which you kind of do on these supernatural shows. I know, right? But you're really, you seem very likable this time. You seem like you're not. This time. This time. Yeah. Well, you're not the bad boy. You are a very popular guy, but it seems like maybe you are an actual good match for. No, I mean, Grayson definitely has some secrets. Yeah. Yeah, and um, there's definitely some things that will be revealed and whatnot. You know, and you know, with these shows, they like to, to toy with how much you the audience should or shouldn't like these people. So yeah. I'm excited to. So there's some twists ahead with your oh, character. Oh yeah. Amy, people, obviously Friday Night Lights is what people so love you for. What can you say to those fans who are eager to kind of watch you on a new show? Is there something for them in Starcross? Oh, I think so. I think, you know, between Friday Night Lights and Starcross, it's two very different shows. But at the end of the day, I mean, they're both about relationships. Like with Friday Night Lights, it was like football, but the show wasn't about football. It was yeah. about the relationships in small town and life. And that's really what Starcross is about. You know, there's aliens and sci-fi and all this like cool, you know, alien tattoos and makeup. And um, but it's really just, you know, it's about relationships and it's sort of a, um, a, a story about, you know, two young people in love and sort of the things. Well, that keep forbidden them apart. love, really, right? Forbidden yeah. love. Mm -hmm. There's much deeper, like, social issues on this show too. I mean, you guys are yeah. kind of separated from the aliens yeah. are kept away from the humans and then it's all sort of about that integration. That's actually a, a, a huge, huge element or presence that you feel in the show is is the, uh, you know, like the civil rights issues that we experienced as a community, you know, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. The the atrians and humans are experiencing that, kind of the same types of things. So that's essentially what the pilot is, is, is this government program to integrate the two societies to see if it can happen and they, they start with a little pilot program uh, in the high school. So that's a, that's a huge issue that's gonna run throughout the series, um, which I think that we're going to see things culminate eventually. I don't know, um, we don't really know anything or yeah. any specifics, but um, you know, it's gonna be bigger than just high school. That it's actually, it's more about the relationships, it's more about the social issues, it's more about you know, the, these, the, the fate of these two uh, species. So it's set in the future and the clothing is not too different for the humans but you guys have the aliens have these tattoos on their face. Are yeah. you in makeup forever? Is that sort of a weird thing that you guys have to go in and go through this huge process to get into character? Fortunately it doesn't, it doesn't take that long. We, we went through a lot of uh, a lot of phases of the tattoos mm -hmm. at first to kind of get it right and, and if, if you see all, every atrium has their own markings uh, it's kind of like what we would Compared to birthmarks, yeah. uh, they're 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 in. They're not like you know tattoos that are put on. Uh, we're born with those. So um, each one has their own kind of uh, you know markings and stuff. But but yes, we we went through many phases to get them looking right. Mm -hmm. And so to answer the the time and, and the chair thing, it's really not too bad because we now we have like a template basically that we just put on and yeah. then peel off, and it's there. It takes longer to get it off than it does on. So do you guys, Wallen, are the humans going to start to? Apply those two just to kind of. Well, I got my tramp stamp at 14, and I'm not. <laughs> going You've got your markings. Yeah, I got one right above the the derriere. Nice. 
<laughs> Lastly, why should people tune in? What is it that Starcrossed has that maybe something else on TV doesn't? Our writing team is so fantastic that that they've got some really awesome credits and, and resume, and I know we're all excited about the, the the writing team that we have. So I know that the the stuff that is going to be coming down the pipe is is going to be stuff that I don't really know if the CW has really seen yet or tackled yet. Yeah. So I'm really hoping and expecting. Um, you know, the story is to be really heightened and elevated more so than just like a teen romance. Kind of touching on that, I think that the show, you know, does have a lot of heart. And while, you know, it is very um, glamorous, like some of the fashion in the show is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Like we were, I yeah. just went through a huge wardrobe fitting for like five hours. And it's cool because it's a mixture of stuff that's current right now, stuff from the 80s. Um, there's like corset stuff from like the 1900s. There's stuff that's like almost kind of slightly off, but yeah. like is like I feel like a trend of the future. But the, f the story, you know, is, you know, there is aliens there. It's about high school, but it's really about relationships and it's a better metaphor for like the bigger issues that I think we face in society at the moment. I'm Haley Steinfeld and you're watching ENTV. Hi, my name is Kieran and Shipka and you're watching ENTV. Aubrey Plaza, ENTV. I just touched it with my mouth, sorry. <laughs>